Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we have a hands-on look at One UI 7.0. Now, this appears to be a developer's version. It is still not the final version, but pretty close to the final version. It was provided by a YouTuber, and I will leave a link to his video down below. In this video, I want to inspect One UI 7.0 closely and identify some of the differences compared to One UI 6.0 or 6.1 and see what new stuff we can expect on the surface level. So let's dive in and see what's going on. Now you can see the control center is slightly revamped, nothing dramatic. The biggest change here is the volume slider was added next to the brightness slider, which I actually appreciate. So both sliders are now bundled in that rectangle with nice rounded corners. But I do want to emphasize this is most likely not going to be the final version. There's going to be some refinements on top of this. Now let me quickly show you something on One UI 6.0 or 6.1. When I pull down from this side, you can see we get access to quick toggles and we get access to notifications. When I swipe down from this side, it takes me straight into the fully expanded control center. With One UI 7.0, we are going to have a little bit of a change. So when you pull from the left side down, you're not going to get the quick toggles on the top, the first row. That's removed. All you're going to get is the date, time, and the notifications. This appears to be a way to just make it nice and clean. Although, personally, I don't prefer this. I prefer the version what we have on the 6.0. So we'll see if they go with this or not. But of course, when you pull down from the other side, you get the full control center. You can see them side by side, minor changes, but, but I do appreciate the volume slider at the bottom. Now in the app drawer on One UI 6.1, the search bar is on the top. With 7.0, they're moving that downwards. And so far, that is the only change I'm seeing. I'm not sure if they're going to be adding a vertical drawer option. If they do, that's going to be fantastic. But in this leak, we did not see any of that. Now, one thing I want to quickly talk about is the animation you get when you plug in a charger. You can see at the bottom, you get this green bar, and then it changes and shows you exactly what the charging is. And if you unlock the phone and plug in the charger, you get another animation. Let me show that to you. It's a little bit smaller. On the top corner, you can see the battery turns green and gives you a quick glance at the current charge level. So minor changes, but they are adding some spice. You can also see a difference in the camera app. You can see the camera button is now above the actual modes on One UI 7.0. Previously, the camera capture button was below the camera mode. The zoom slider on the One UI 7.0 looks a little bit different. And on the top, on One UI 6.0, the menu has been compacted, as you can see. So there's going to be a little difference in the camera interface. Not sure if it's going to be for the better or for the worse. This one just seems like they're shuffling stuff around to make it look different. Now, one more thing I want to mention is you can see the corners are more rounded in these rectangles. The reason they're more rounded now is because Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra is going to be a slightly more rounded product as opposed to the square design. You can see these rounded corners do not perfectly match up with the square boxy design of the S24 Ultra. So that's why they're more rounded. They're going to be matching better with the S25 Ultra. But that's basically what we have right now with One UI 7.0. This is the latest, most comprehensive leak we have seen so far. Uh, let me know what you think below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below as well.